Hello, this is Richard Welker at richardwelkerart.com. Uh, today we're going to do a short demo on how to do uh, an Australian Aboriginal dot painting uh, adapted uh, to Santa Fe, New Mexico. And so to begin with, uh, I want to just lay out what you will need to begin. Uh, you'll need a three inch uh, gesso brush. It's a bristle brush. Uh, you'll need some black gesso, which I've already put in this uh, little uh, container here. And uh, please get the good kind of gesso. Um, that's uh, either Liquitex or Golden or something along those lines. Uh, the cheap ones are not worth it. Uh, because uh, they don't uh, cover as much, number one, and I even had a batch go off on me and get mold in it when it wasn't uh, uh, the top quality. So you'll also need a practice uh, canvas, and this one is a 5 8 inch uh, 16 by 20 uh, uh, student grade canvas um, that you can get in a six pack uh, for about twenty dollars at your local art store. Uh, I got this one at uh, Artisan in Santa Fe. So um, I also have a couple of uh, rippings here, uh, plywood, uh, but you can use any three quarter inch or any kind of wood for that matter. Uh, just two of them that you can put down uh, under, uh, underneath the painting so that when you put the gesso on, uh, the gesso doesn't uh, stick to the underlayment. So um, that's, uh, oh, and I also have uh, some water here and um, of course uh, a rag is always good to have or a paper towel. So having said all of that, um, we'll begin. Okay, so we're back. We have our canvas here. Uh, it's sitting on two rails here down below. Um, we have our black gesso here and our water here. And then I have this three inch bristle brush. As you can see, uh, it's a, a gesso brush uh, made by, in this case, uh, Dick Blick, but you can get them at your local art store. Um, and um, so that's what we're going to use now to spread the black gesso across the painting. Now we're going to use black gesso as the background because it will allow the color that we then put on top, and in this case we're going to be using a stick to put on the dots, uh, to, to be extraordinarily vivid. And uh, it just jumps out at you. So we're going to begin now. You stick the brush in the gesso and you begin to work it straight across just like this nice long strokes you don't want to work it too much because it dries pretty fast and then uh, if you work it too much keep coming back across uh, as you get uh, down to the bottom uh, it starts to pick up on itself and uh, that you don't want it can create problems as you can see it's just going to be one layer of black gesso on a pre-primed uh, student grade canvas that already has uh, primer on it and already has gesso on it want to get out any runs that you see keep going across and as it uh, dries it will stretch the canvas uh, a little bit further than it already is this canvas here is uh, stapled on the back so it's wrapped around the rails they're five inch five eighths of an inch rails So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Presto. 
Now we go around to the sides. We pick up on the sides the white that's still showing. And you have to be careful for dribble marks. And I always go around one more time after I've got these sides done. As, uh, you can't see it here, but we have some major dribbling marks that come down and fall onto the underlayment here which is just cardboard. And I see some white right here. I'm going to pick this up so that you can see me still and turn it around, but ordinarily I just walk around to the other side. Uh, but then I'd be in front of the camera. So we're almost done now. We've almost got this and we're only going to uh, put one coat on here for demonstration purposes, but you can put more than that. In fact, it's probably preferable. Uh, in most cases, um, we put on at least two coats. And it looks like you have to go around real carefully and make sure that the wraparound is completely covered because sometimes you think you've got it covered then you notice after you're all done oh my gosh there's all this white there it's right around the bottom edges like this so you dip that you turn your brush in like that and get that underneath like that so there we go now we uh, put our uh, brush in the water to clean it out and I will be washing that out after we're done. When this dries, uh, come back and we'll begin the actual